Um, let's move on to uh, Steve-O's topic, the final topic. Bad boy. Final topic. Okay, the best. It's the final topic. Oh, that'd be great <laughs> if we hear that every time the final topic starts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're <laughs> terrible already <laughs> at the entertainment, you know, gig. <laughs> <laughs> it's the final topic. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Sorry, I kept, uh, can't hey, you that can't just let it go. No, um, so let's see. Oh, man. I saw that. Oh. Hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, so my topic's gonna be uh, as far as uh, E3's uh, best and worst, besides Aisha's puns and <laughs> weird like just it's comments, awkward. everything, it's and awkward. then and yeah, as far yeah. as the, you know the intro with the tribute to David Bowie's Just Dance and people dressed in tiger outfits and what like, yeah. i did not hear about any of you this. didn't see any of this stuff <laughs> no no like all these puns oh, oh yeah well yeah, just, i mean it yeah. was a little bit better but it's aisha tyler i mean i watch whose line is in anyways like all the time i like the new show oh okay okay yes yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. she voices yeah, lana yeah. in uh, archer she's yeah, yeah. really funny but for no, whatever she reason is hilarious. this well, whoever's yeah whoever's writing her jokes in this oh seven <laughs> Seven. Like, what is he doing? Where is he? He's fucking high as I shit. I swear. <laughs> that guy. Guys, what? That guy. He's like getting something across the street. Why did he never get the last he time? He drove through. No, he drove through. I'll tell you what he does. He's worked out some way to screw the system that he did, like, just in the house in, like, different areas. All right. So, oh, so, the, that's so the best yeah. and worst. Um, All right, so the best they said uh, was basically the Xbox, basically the new Xbox Scorpio. They're saying about the 4K um, Blu-ray player, basically. Um, I guess what is four? I forgot what 4K exactly means for the Blu-ray. Is it just for like 4K relation? Re- 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 but you need a 4K that. TV, right? Wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Which rock? And that's the problem I have right now <laughs> is having a 4K TV, but not a piece of equipment that can upgrade <laughs> can. to it. So oh, I feel no so eat. sorry for you, Rocco. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. How, how do you survive? <laughs> yes. Guys, if I could smack you through the internet, <laughs> I'd <just> or something. <laughs> So oh, would people right. agree with I would what does that fall under what category announcement biggest announcement? Well, they said the best, like the Be- best things that come out of E3. Okay. And they said the worst. The well, I would What about your what are your opinion on? Yeah. What's the best and the worst. Uh, my I want to get the I want to get inside your brain, Steve. Well, yeah, of course, my find. My best would be the announcement of the God of War. Definitely. Okay. Second coming cool. in with I, I cuz I did kind of like I read more into the storyline as far as um Days Gone. Okay. And um, I did kind of like the whole biker aspect of it. Cause it kind of reminded me of Daryl from uh, The Walking totally. Dead. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So, like, and he's, like, one of, he's my favorite character, actually. So, like, he was talking about, like, the whole brotherhood aspect. Because this is only two years. This is only two years yeah. in, the, in the future. Um, but it's all based up as in North, uh, I think, Northwest, um, like, uh, the desert area type in, like, mm-hmm. Nevada. That's okay. what it's like all best based upon. So like, yeah, you're gonna get like a lot of like potholes and like the the, the roads kind of look overward. But like he kind of wants to keep that brotherhood, right? Aspect and everything like that. Keep part the of biker brotherhood like, thing. Yeah. Right, and like you know, um, I did kind of like that. Um, a lot of people were excited about it, the gameplay and everything. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. I need some rock No. So. I'm here. So that would be, that would be okay. So best announcement that would be my, or best thing well, to come out of, okay. Well, yeah. So they. Well, I'm just going with what people have said and everything. And now, Al, now let would, me ask you this. Um, the one thing I did actually miss, and I thought maybe you might touch upon on here, is uh, like Titanfall. Um, you know, with that whole. Uh, I don't remember that one. Titanfall two. Yeah. I. What about it? I thought that it looked pretty cool. I didn't play the first one. But uh, I didn't know if that was considered, if you guys are excited for that as well. Certainly not the best announcement. I mean, the first one right. really didn't do much for me. And so as they're announcing too, I mean, they, ha- they have something to prove to us, I think. Um, mm-hmm. I, my biggest, uh, my, f- I would, m- my best announcement that to come out, I don't know. I honestly don't know. That Spider-Man game is really, really cool. But I would think yes, that that would be a category was... of like best game that I'm, I'm most excited for. Um, True. So b- biggest announcements, like things we didn't know, man. I don't, 
I guess I'm most excited about. The yeah, it would have been. That's why I think out. Death Stranding for me was probably the biggest announcement. Like yeah. the weird, the the weird trailer with Norman Reedus, the whole mm -hmm. idea behind it, and the fact that it's the developer who it is. Yeah, that was like totally blew me away. I was just like, "What the fuck is this game? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. I want to know more." Um, I had no idea to expect it. So for me, that was probably my biggest announcement. I have yeah. to agree with you. And, so, and the guy that's based off on that one character I was talking about in Days Gone is um, that, that Sam Worthington. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's who he was, Yeah, he was the actor. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice, so I guess, nice. I guess from everything that I've heard so far, from everybody's like, uh, the, the conference right now, I'd say the one that I'm most excited about would probably be the PlayStation you know, upgrade, to be honest. Like have the 4K capability, the VR, because I am excited about the VR. Like, yeah. I, like I was saying, the bleeding edge kind of deal. Like, not right now, ready. I mean, if it's gonna come with it, awesome, cool. If it doesn't, then you know, obviously we gotta buy into it. We're not. But yeah, yeah. I am excited about the VR gameplay. Like, I hope that they're not just tech demos. I hope that they are gonna be Real something games. like a little bit more, you know, yeah. game. Yeah, yeah gameplay. I think they're trying to get past the whole motion sickness. Do you guys? I'm do you guys want to comment on the? The worst announcements? Well, yeah. The, well, the worst announcements they were saying was like they people aren't excited about this game. I forgot. I don't know what it was announced on. I forgot what it was. But Sea of Thieves. Have you guys? Oh yeah. Have you guys oh. see that one? Yeah. Like, really? like I, yeah. Multiplayer pirate game. Yeah. Uh, really? Like, that was the worst, huh? Yeah. I thought that kind of looked interesting. What well, do we think? They, the worst. they were. They were. They were the. Oh dang! It's starting to rain. <laughs> the players. No, players were. It's not good. What the fuck? Steve, what do you think the worst is? Dude, get well, your said, shit and run. All right, they said the players were, um, it's kind of, nah, fuck this. No, it's going to start raining. Just right, move, guys, dude, keep going, just... just keep going, keep going, keep going, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll just talk about my, my interpretation of Sea of Thieves. <laughs> um, so this basically looks like uh, a dumbed-down version of the Star Trek game, where everybody is doing, like, every player is playing together in this open-world game where you're on a pirate ship. Out in the open, it has a kind of cartoony aesthetic, and everybody has to do a certain thing. Like, one guy has to fire the cannons, one guy has to be up on the sails, one guy has to be turning the fucking uh, captain's wheel. Um, so, like, that aspect of it, I thought that looked pretty cool. Even if the gameplay didn't look in extremely engaging, it looked fun if you had, like, your buddies to come around and be like, all right, guys, we're going to go pillage and, like, go kill some people. Like, let's get on our, you know, let's bust up the crew and, and go yeah, out there. But the main thing people VR. were complaining about was that, 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 you're, you're the guys that you're playing, they comment every like five seconds. Like they're constantly oh. talking every five seconds. They're like, this would be, a, I know, really good, but they constantly comment. That was like some of the things that they were saying as far as that game, like being the worst about that game because like they hated watching them play the game and hearing that every five seconds. They really, they were watching the people play them and they had their faces at the top, uh, top right or top left, but they couldn't really focus on them because the characters were talking every five seconds okay it was it's it, same thing with ghost recon wildlands they were doing the same thing getting updates from like the other oh, yeah. pcs we're like oh yeah yo yeah, oh yeah, it looks like he's got a tire out i'm like yeah no that's not what i'm seeing like they're just like i don't they're like i don't really want that the, the chatter is like overwhelming yeah, it's yeah. So overwhelming. It, it must not have felt that either so yeah yeah i mean it looks yeah, pretty totally. idea. It looks pretty cool yep <laughs> I yes, didn't understand a word he said. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> exactly. <either. laughs> um, so, what would you yeah, guys? Yeah, I think Cod Candy's pretty good. What would you guys say? <laughs> who had the Who had the best conference? You think? Oh, uh, I think Sony's probably yeah. one of the better ones. Yeah, I, would, yeah, I, mean, I agree. Just, I don't just think there's a wrong answer. I just like the games. I just like the games. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, the thing. I, is like it was focused on games. That was what I thought was really cool. They had like, a lot of games. Stuff. Yeah. Games worst play. EA was probably the worst by far. Yeah, yeah, I have EA to was not good. The only and, thing uh, that yeah. I would say Nintendo, but what saved Nintendo is the fact that Zelda looked so good. But, yeah, if that's it was Skyward yeah, Sword, I would have been like Nintendo. But yeah, EA didn't come Nintendo. with really anything. I, I would say no, One no, except for Zelda was kind of yeah. Well, what, what did he cool. say? Cool. He said something about Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think Zelda must have been his best or something. Yeah. Okay. And uh, he likes backdoor. He oh likes God. back to <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would say EA. My favorite, I would say PS4 be, because of them focusing on the games um, mm -hmm. and having just a wonderful presentation of like oh, yeah. announcements, right? Coupled with the orchestra. Yeah. Like they just, it blew people away. It was really cool. Yeah. That's One, what they were saying was actually the worst. Sorry. 
What's the one game? one thing also coming out was um, which I didn't really go over much was Battlefield, the World War One. Oh yeah, uh, we yeah, totally I, missed yeah, World War One. Oh, yeah, and I that kept that. So sweet. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, it that looks is EA great. too, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes. It is EA. The mm. only problem is, is that I have such a bad taste in my mouth from the Star Wars one. So I, I <laughs> hope they do Battle good. Fun. Yeah. 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 They so better. I hope this one, because I mean that'd be cool to fucking fly a Zeppelin, you know, and, and yes. fight and stuff. Fuck yeah. That's dude. awesome. So. So, okay, I, I'll say this for a different topic, but I didn't know Battlefront was such a dud. Well. Yeah. And and then I forgot I about that. I was uh, happy with it. Yeah, Never. Rocco wasn't happy with it. Yeah. If you could hear me, I don't know if you can. He Barely. said if you can hear me, all you can hand. Oh, you can eat ham? Can hear me or not? <laughs> we should play a telephone. If you can hear me, hold my hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so real real quick, um, favorite favorite game that you're looking forward to and game least you're looking forward to? Uh, God of War. Yeah, I was gonna say God of War. I think it's between God of War and Spider Man, but I'd say God of War. Spider Man. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, East man. would That's be good. that that pirate game. <laughs> uh, Mine would be my my least would be Eagle Flight. I think. Oh, I didn't see that <laughs> one. Though. That might have been bad though. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. I hijacked because I just wanted to ask a question. Um, go oh, ahead. No, you're good. I, I don't know. I, there's a, quite a few from the Sony one. Like I like the Spider-Man. I like the Last Guardian. I like that Bound uh, indie game that I was talking about. Yeah, uh, that, I think from Sony's uh, yeah. selection, it's going to be tough. I like those. Yeah. So the EA, same thing. I'm like, I don't really look forward to like Gran Turismo or yeah football or FIFA. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, Gran Turismo. Battlefield's probably the best one from EA by far. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. Taking it back to World War One is like a pretty cool move, especially considering uh, Call of Duty went super futuristic. Right. Like I think that's like kind of like a big fuck you. It's like, oh yeah, well you went futuristic. Well everybody's doing futuristic. We're going back to World I, War One. We're gonna have muskets. I think the zombie games are my not well, so favorite. Mm, yes. Yeah. Zombie so games. days gone. I'm tired, I'm Did you tired of the zombie yeah. like theme? Did you guys ever right. play Call of Duty World War One or World War? World of War. I played that one. Yeah. Yeah, that was that, was, that was that was, but that was my favorite Call of Duty one because I yeah. loved, I loved, I had that on PC actually. Yeah, all the I, I really liked the whole World War II games when they that was the setting for most of the games. I thought that was a lot of yeah. fun. Mm-hmm. Other than Modern Warfare, like obviously Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that was probably the, the best, yeah. best game for me for all of the Call of Duties. Yeah. Um, I just really but, liked it because like all the guns they sounded like realistic, like it was like. Yeah. Like when you're watching like the Saving Private Ryan, like all those movies, like you, you see like one of the one of the Berettas and or not the Berettas, but anyways, just like the you can hear like the ammo. Ching 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 it like, sounds yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Dunk, dunk. It's friggin' yeah. awesome. Like it's really that's why I like the world that's why I like the battlefield. The new battlefield looks yeah, awesome. I think it's the awesome. sound effects and the aesthetic and everything looks Who's getting it? thrower. I will get battlefield about one. It. Yeah, well I mean you won't be that's able to you, this play. think about it, dude. Put your hand down. Well it's because he didn't remember he didn't <laughs> He didn't like it because he never got the whole aspect of playing with friends. Like he said, remember? Oh, yeah. Like, sure. So like, are we going to actually get it for computer, or what are we going to do? No, I mean, we could computer. get a computer, PC. and then Clay would be able to. Yeah. But then PC, Rocco PC, can. PC. So oh, yeah, we got to choose our friend. Because look at his internet, man. <laughs> God, he's struggling. Play <laughs> League with us. Hmm? Yeah, I play League. And so does Rocco. Dude, I mean, Rocco does I, when I try to play Battlefront, it just... They pooped on my face. Oh, that's yeah. gross. All right, it was yeah. so gross. Guys, we're talking so about poop on my face. Steve, is there anything else that you wanted to <laughs> highlight before we wrap <laughs> up? Because we're running long. <laughs> no, there wasn't anything else I really want to highlight. You know, I did. Uh, I already said what I wanted to say about the whole Kratos thing cool, and cool. the God of War, and then as far as my take on the uh, Days Gone. So, biggest surprise yeah, you for said- everybody else. Um. Probably Zelda for me. I mean that that was pretty surprising. I'm glad that they're doing that, like in and making it an open world more. So yeah. okay. cool. What if they remade Zelda Orkin of Time? Ocarina of Time? Nah, they've already remade yeah, it twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's just 
the That's biggest surprise good. for me is Microsoft saying that they're going to give you a PC game and an Xbox game. Yeah, that is, uh, yeah. That, that is that was the biggest yeah. surprise for me. I like that. Well, because I'm going through that right now. I have ESO for computer, and then my brother was like, hey, let's get it for PlayStation. So now I bought it, and I have to start over. I have to create a whole new character. Yeah, I'm like, damn it. Like, plus a monthly subscription? No, there's no monthlies. And it was, uh, I only got it for oh. 25 so okay. it wasn't much, but it's still it was a pain in the ass because I'm like I have a max level character just sitting in my account, but it's only on the computer. You should get so, it at Guild Wars. I do have Guild get, Wars. Get in that Guild Wars. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, Guild Wars. All right. Wars. Sorry, Steve, to um, kind of rush that along. We were just running really, really no, late. Um, so that is gonna wrap it up for us here on the Everything and Nothing show. Uh, next week we'll have another set of five topics for you as always doled up Monday through Friday topic by topic and on Saturday you get the free episode with all the topics wrapped into one on our YouTube page youtube.com slash Gamers channel um, if you like what you're seeing and like what you're hearing you can go on to patreon.com slash Gamers and you throw us as little as a dollar and we will give you goodies and rewards um, anything helps and we're really appreciative if you don't have money that's okay too you follow like comment subscribe and share on our Facebook our Twitter our Instagram our YouTube page uh, it's super helpful we want to hear from you uh, we also stream games on our YouTube channel we're streaming Division, we're streaming Smite, we're streaming League of Legends. Uh, look, we know we're not the best, we're certainly not the worst, but we are, are entertaining. 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 <laughs> it's getting there, guys. It's getting there. It's so closer every time. It's so close. Closer every time. <laughs> so we want to entertain you. We want to play with you. Don't play with yourself. That's no fun. That's lonely. Come join us. <laughs> play with us. Uh, we'll play with Rosie. Yeah. Uh, so until next week, keep thinking about everything and nothing. It's been an honor to entertain you. Peace and take care. Chicken grease. Chicken grease. Skidoosh. 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 Skidoosh.